Hello everyone, this is Joseph Bob Brewer for ESFI and I'm here with Suppy at the MLG Fall Championship in Dallas, Texas. Suppy, how are you feeling, man? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, pretty pleased with my performance, although hopefully in the future I can do even better. But overall, um, I think Dallas is a pretty good event. That's good, man. How are you feeling coming into this weekend? Uh, I was feeling pretty good coming into this weekend. Um, obviously, it wasn't. you can't prepare for all aspects, but I think overall I was more prepared than I was at Raleigh. Mm. Um, and my family was actually able to accompany me to Dallas, and they were able to help me ensure that I took care of myself, being hydrated, um, eating all my meals. So that was also a really good help. Yeah. Uh, how was it having your family here with you and everything like that? It was just really nice. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> It was like a family reunion because my brother's in med school, so we don't get to see him that much. But all four of us were here, and my parents were definitely impressed, I think. So that was a good positive. And, um, Maybe a little, a little added pressure? Yeah, a little bit of added pressure. I was, I was worried that I was going to get out pretty early, but I think added pressure can also motivate you to play better. So thankfully, I was able to get pretty far in the tournament. Once again, you were a top placing NA slash South American, whatever foreigner at this event. How happy are you with that performance? Uh, I'm pretty happy. I mean, it's definitely always great to, you know, get some good results. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm ho I mean, I'm a little bit disappointed. I think I could have beaten Sue. Uh, they were really close games. Uh, my next opponent after that would have been Rain again, though. Yeah. So I got knocked out by SK Telecom here. But um, overall, pretty happy. That's good. Well, can you walk me just through your, you know, open bracket round five all the way to your championship bracket performance you beat Rhett Revival Juke 2 I believe and then uh, that's when you fell to Sue mm -hmm. how was it those other games though with Rhett Revival and Juke 2 uh, those are really good games um, my game versus Rhett was uh, pretty fast paced but it was pretty short um, and it was just one game because he actually came like 30 minutes late mm -hmm. and he was going to get completely walked over but uh, they decided just to give him one game walk over so we just played one game yeah I saw that he looked a little frustrated about that I was going to ask you about that so yeah there was a little bit of tension and drama uh, but okay. uh, I, we ended up playing it so uh, that was just one game did, did you have that option of giving him either the, the walk over or, that, or you know, anything like that or was it that between MLG like was it your choice to have to play that series out or did they want you to do it? How'd that end up? Yeah, so I think in the past it used to just be MLG's decision. Mm. But in this case, they you know they got a bunch of complaints, so they turned it to the player's decision. Um, I didn't feel like I was really going to be able to make that decision, though. Um, so you know I talked to my team captain in control and to my managers, and they made the decision to play it out. Okay, nice. Well, if you could go back and change any game or series uh, in this event, what would it be? Um, I have to say versus Sue, I tried to cheese, um, and I'm I'm not that good with cheese, so he cheesed me at the same time. So basically, it was just him executing the cheese better because he uh, practiced it more. So I would have probably played standard if I could change that. Okay. What do you think right now about Zerg? Do you think Zerg is a little bit too strong right now? I mean, we have a ZVZ finals uh, at this tournament right now. So I mean, what do you think the state of the game is right now for Zerg? Is it way too strong of a race compared to the other two races? <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting this question a lot in <laughs> all my interviews. Um, and basically what I've been saying is um, I think in the current metagame, uh, Zerg is definitely doing very well. Um, but I think it's also starting to shift, and I think this shift happens a lot. You know, it used to be Terran used to be, like, overpowered, and now they're kind of, like, underpowered. But it just continues to shift, and I think some people are starting to figure it out. Like, for example, uh, Rain, his PVZ is, like, just insanely good. And I think he's, you know, figuring out the timings and figuring out how to pick apart Zergs. And I think it will eventually start to change. I think overall, though, Zerg does have an advantage in late game compared to the other races. Uh, but early game and mid game, they can have an advantage as well. Do you think that'll change when Hots comes out or if any other patches come out after this? Or do you think they'll just keep it the way it is? Yeah, I think it'll just keep the same right now until, you know, unless small metagame shifts. Uh, and then when Heart of the Swarm comes out, uh, we'll see, you know, big changes in how people play. Well, let's, you know, talk about more about you. How have you been staying, staying so consistent as of late? And you just your play has just been a, a lot better recently. You're just playing very well, placing great at these events. Uh, how have you been staying so consistent? Um, I mean, one thing we do have uh, as part of EG is we do have uh, required streaming hours. Okay. So that's been keeping me on top of, you know, getting the necessary amount of hours I need per you know per month mm -hmm. and you know I've I've kind of just tried to balance school and gaming at the same time and 
uh, you know, I, I always feel like I can, I can be more prepared, but I think uh, I'm at least, you know, decently prepared to be to maintain a competitive edge. Yeah. How's that balancing school and gaming? The last interview we talked about, you said it was going pretty all right for now, but how's it going right now? A yeah. little bit farther into the, the year. Uh, it's, I mean, it's still going okay, but it's not as good as last year. Last year, um, I was, you know, having a lot easier of a time because I didn't have as many obligations. Um, and I'm taking orga organic chemistry right now, so it's pretty tough. But, uh, you know, hopefully I I'm thinking that I'm going to hunker down after WCS, WCS Shanghai in two weeks and uh, hopefully uh, keep my good grades up. Well, that is your, your next event, WCS Shanghai. What kind of preparations have you been making for that event, and what can you do in this downtime between these two weeks to prepare for that? Yeah, um, basically just continuing to practice. Uh, you know, coming to Dallas uh, revealed a lot of, you know, some of the flaws I have in my play, so I'm hoping to return and be able to work on those. Uh, for example, early game defenses and stuff. And uh, I'm going to practice with a bunch of my practice partners. I've had a lot of practice with Scarlett, and even though we're going to both be there, um, hopefully I can get some good practice with her, um, with some of my teammates like DeMuslim. Uh, I've been practicing a lot with LZ. Mm. So uh, just going to continue practicing and uh, hopefully it'll pay off in Shanghai. Are you a little nervous about going in there and you know, representing you know, North America in that? Yeah, I'm definitely a little nervous um, because it's always like if you fly you know, all the way halfway across the world yeah. and then you just get knocked out immediately, it would be a horrible feeling. But uh, you know, hopefully you know, that's some pressure that motivates me, as I said before. And helps me to play better. All right. What was what result would be good for you there? Are like you looking to win that whole tournament or? Uh, I, I'd say maybe that's a little bit of an unrealistic uh, expectation. Obviously, that's my ideal. Like mm -hmm. that would be insane. Yeah. Um, but I would really like to get top 16 at the at the minimum. Nice. Well, thanks, man, for the interview as always. Do uh, you want to give any final words? Yeah. Um, thank you to all my fans who support me and to my team, Evil Geniuses, and everybody who supports our team. Uh, and thank you to our, you know, great sponsors, uh, Raid Call, Intel Extreme Boards, Steel Series, Monster Energy, Kingston HyperX, Beyond Gaming, Sapphire, uh, and Inwin. Thank you guys so much for supporting us, and thank you ESFI World for uh, doing this interview. Yeah, man, anytime. Thank you very much, and good luck.